Friday. As a matter of fact, it's 5.20 in the evening here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be a little late today. Uh, I had a lot to do today. Things got busy and uh, all that stuff. But I wanted to get out here and get a show up. Because there's news to talk about. What's to talk about, John? Well, shit. Oh, General Mike Flynn. Well, Mike Flynn's attorneys, I guess, have uh, talked to Donnie's attorneys and uh, told him, uh, we can't cooperate with y'all anymore. We can't have any more interaction between Donnie's lawyers and Michael Flynn's lawyers anymore. Hmm. What's that about, Donnie? What's that shit about? I think we all know what it's all about. We all know that, uh, that the Flynn there has been getting his ass into a lot of trouble. We know he was an agent for Turkey, an undesignated, un, uh, he didn't uh, disclose that he was a free, he was an agent for a foreign state, and uh, we know there's some kind of talk going around about a kidnapping uh, with some money exchanging hands. We've heard all them stories, so, uh, you know, a little embezzlement here or there, a little, uh, little tax fraud, a little money laundering there, Flynn. Got your ass into a crack. But now, he's talking. He's, that's what this is. It, it's the only explanation why they would have to come out and tell them, we're not going to cooperate with you anymore. Because they're cooperating with Mueller. That's what the deal is. And uh, old Flynn finally had his ass up against the wall, him and his son. Him and his son. And that might have been the kicker. Last time I seen that kid, he was... Telling the news how funny it was going to be because he wasn't going to go to jail. Yeah. Well, you better hope your daddy makes a damn good deal to keep your ass out of jail there, Junior. Because if not, well, your ass will go to jail too. But we have to remember that uh, the Flynn investigation, well, that was the kicker that started all this shit off, remember? Comey was fired because he wouldn't play nice with Flynn. He wouldn't drop the investigation into Flynn that the FBI had going on. Probably about the money laundering and the working for Turkey and maybe the kidnapping shit. Who knew? But we knew that Flynn had been compromised by the Russians because Sally Yates told the White House that in January. Told Donnie's people, hey, got to watch out for Flynn there. He's a Russian hack. But he stayed there until February 13th and attended a lot of meetings and shit. So, yeah, we had a Russian hack inside the government there. Right off the bat, because old Fled was with him from the beginning. Remember him? Lock her up and all that shit? Yeah. I don't give a flip what kind of deal they made with him. I want to see his ass in jail. He better sing like a freaking canary about everything he knows about Comey. About Pence, remember, oh, he got fired because he lied to Mike Pence. And we all know how just, just Snow White Pence is. He ain't nothing on Pence. Are you shitting me? Everything these people knew, Pence knew. It's a con job all the way around to hide Donnie's shit. Anyway, what else? Flynn was heavily involved in Donnie's administration talk. Well, you know that a lot. Yep. There's some shit coming, and I think it's going to happen pretty soon. When Flynn starts turning over on the rest of them, on on all of them, Donnie, Jeff Sessions, probably Junior and Jarrett, a whole crew that's been soaked up with these Russians ever since this shit started. Ever since Donnie threw his hat in the stupid ring, this whole circus has gone to shit. Anyway, what else is going on? Well... The important shit, according to Donnie, he's on the Twitter again. Oh, he gets so upset. When he gets upset, Donnie gets on Twitter. And he says, can you believe that the disrespect for our country, our flag, and our anthem continues? I know it does, Donnie, because you're still in office, you little turd. You're the, the disrespect the, 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 to our anthem, to our flag, to the country, to the values that we hold dear. Donnie, you're still in the office, so yeah. The disrespect goes on, you dick. Get out of our house. Anyway, he was talking about the players. And he says, without penalty to the players, the commissioner has lost control of the hemorrhaging league. I watched it every weekend, Donnie. I didn't like the outcome of 
yesterday's ball game with Dallas. But I ain't quit watching NFL, Donnie. Uh, you got all mad because uh, Oliver Vernon, he plays for the New York Giants, is playing the Redskins. He took a knee. So Donnie gets all upset about the important shit. You know, hey, that guy took a knee, so we need to tweet out some shit. We had a plane crash in the Philippine Sea. Eleven souls on board, eight were rescued. Three of our brothers went down, lost. This was more important to Donnie. Donnie was too busy in a Twitter fit with LeVar Ball. It's, it's, this man doesn't keep our country in mind. This man has no freaking value. He's out playing golf again. That's all he does. He's not going to take any time out. He addressed the troops, and I seen that, and then he went into a big zis boom bah about how great he was, how great the economy was, and how great everything in the United States is because Donnie's the president. You know, when I look at all those damn graphs, I see an uptick ever since Obama took over. You're just continuing Obama's pot. It's the same shit. You're trying to take credit for every little thinking thing, you stupid little shit piece of crap. He says, today, after Turkey call, I will be heading over to the National Trump Golf and Bribe Collection Center to play golf with Tiger Woods. After a turkey call, you think he's talking about calling turkey? No, he's just going to go get him some more turkey and dressing and some pie or some shit. No, he took a call from turkey, probably trying to figure out what they're going to say about Flynn, since Flynn's flipping on turkey. And Flynn's going to flip on turkey, he's going to flip on Donnie, he's going to flip on everybody. I hope so anyway. Anyway, it's been a it's been a busy I tell you what, people. You know, it's like you need a vacation from the holidays after the holidays over all the shit you have to go through, get everything ready, get it done, and then clean up and everything else, and then ah gonna have to go up and eat some leftovers here in just a few minutes because it's about ready. Well, they had an attack in Egypt and it was terrible at a mosque and over hundred and eighty three dead. I don't know how many more. I haven't caught up on the news yet. I wrote this down earlier. But I did notice that Donnie put out a tweet about it. Because that's what our dick does. He tweets shit. And in that tweet, he can't help but take advantage of a terrorist attack because that way he could push his Muslim ban in the wall. He tweets out about the ban in the wall. Anytime he can stir up the little minions with any kind of terrorist attack, that's what he's going to do. Oh, look here. We need a wall. We need a wall. No, we need gun legislation, Donnie. That's what's killing our people. We don't need a freaking wall. We need a president with brains. How about that shit? We need a we need a Congress that has balls enough to stand up to the gun lobbies. That's what we need in this country, Donnie. We don't need your ass up there tweeting about the NFL or other shit like that. It just disgusts me. What do you do, people? You know, we still got a long way to go to get his ass out. Mueller's cranking along, and this information about Flynn just proves that. It's getting closer to him, and he knows it. So he'll start a freaking Twitter war with somebody else here real quick. Or maybe start a war or something just to keep his little ass out of jail. It ain't going to work. Oh, he's going to go down because Flynn's going to flip on all of them. Because Flynn don't want to go to jail either. either. Flynn don't want his son going to jail. So, yeah, he's going to flip, and he's going to sing like a bird. I'm happy for it. So sing away, bud, and uh, let us all know how much of a crook our president is, because he is definitely a crook. Anyway, that's about all I got. I hope it was, uh, I was busy today. It's another one of those days where I didn't get to sit down and indulge with everything and uh, and get to everything, but uh, I don't want to miss too many days, man. I'm here until this thing's gone. We all got to stay here until this thing's gone. I got to cut my beard sooner or later. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. John Bruno of Blue Dot in Texas on YouTube. And uh, John Brittavo on Facebook, John Brittavo Speaks. Don, another big story today, buddy. You know the dominoes are just keeping on falling. And uh, on Twitter, uh, at Blue Dot, and uh, out my truck window, it looks like I'm going to be on the Tim Cormall show this Sunday again. I always enjoy that, so I'll have fun doing that on Sunday. In the meantime, y'all take care. Resist, baby. It's Resistance Friday. We always have to keep this thing going. Keep each other motivated. Get everybody cranked up that we know. Because we can't, re we can't stop. We can't slow down. We have the momentum. We know we're going to get him. So let's keep that up and get it done. Y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all later.